Joining me now to discuss Shelley Palmer is a managing director of Landmark Ventures Digital Media Group. It is extraordinary. Not only the best quarter for Apple, the best quarter for any company in history. What do you make of the numbers? Um, I assume they're accurate and they are astounding. <laughs> they are absolutely outrageous. Um, look, these guys were counted out a year ago. Everybody who wants to claim credit for, you know, thinking Apple was awesome. <laughs> They were saying Apple needs a bigger phone, Samsung's going to kick their butts. Everybody was making a lot of comments last year about how Apple was over. Obviously, Apple's not over. Right. But as you and I have discussed previously, yeah. a bet on Apple right now is a bet on the iPhone. Right. So what does it mean if you're sitting back looking at this? Do I get into Apple right now? Uh, if you're looking at it long term, what does it mean to be an investor in Apple or to get in right now? Right now, you're getting in at when you, the getting in is great. It can only go one way, right? No, it can go two ways. <laughs> right. It really can go two ways. Today is a euphoric, outstanding day. Nothing can be taken away. I cannot add or detract. The numbers speak for themselves, and they are truly magnificent. But, but, but at the end of the day, right. you have to sit back and say, if a bet on Apple is a bet for the iPhone, is the Apple Watch really going to get it done? Is Apple Pay really right. going to get it done? And, and Tim Cook has said this is the year of Apple Pay. But I just wonder, I mean, look, there's competitors like Starbucks, and their mobile numbers are out of, out of the ballpark, right? You've got competitors out there on Pay. I wonder if this is the year of Apple Pay, if it is going to be as ubiquitous as they're hoping. And do you put all your eggs in one basket with the phone? I don't put my eggs in one basket, but I'll tell you what Apple has done so brilliantly. Their strategy, their retail strategy, they have clearly demonstrated yeah. they're looking for the most affluent customers, those who aspire to be the most affluent, and they are giving people a reason to believe they are. Uh -huh. And advertisers love this, and people tend to and want it, to spend more for the China, products. in China, it is paying off just the luxury component of it. Yeah. I heard an astonishing statistic that the average person all in globally pays $600 for their iPhone versus 200 for, say, a Microsoft phone. That is extraordinary that they have been able to get the magnitude and that price point. There's a psychology of marketing. There is an aspirational desire that we all have. Apple is so good at making you feel good about spending that money. It's almost remarkable. But remember, Xiaomi is in China. They're sure. shipping a lot of they phones. They had a great quarter, too. <clears throat> An amazing or quarter. Private. And millions of reservations for their phones. They are going to be a force to be reckoned with, especially in China. But today is Apple's day, and there's no other way to describe it. $18 billion is not just a tech <laughs> quarter. It's the quarter of this. It's the profit quarter of, 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 of in history. And so there you go. They keep piling up that cash, and our next guest is going to talk about what he would like to see them do with that cash. Thank you so much, Shelley. Good My to have pleasure. you on the program this evening.